This is Jamaica Standard Products, the coffee factory. It's all of a 15,000 square foot building that houses our factory floor as well as our warehouse, approximately half and half. This is the home of Island Blue, Byron Hall Estate and High Mountain Coffees, the finest coffees in the world. Coffee obviously is an important aspect of our nation building, the industry, uh, Manchester no exception obviously. We are in an area where coffee production is considered to be good for production because we have good elevation, good climate conditions, good soil type. So we hope that we can get coffee back to where it used to be. Mm -hmm. um, we hope we can get young people more involved and interested in farming and um, hopefully in the not too far future we'll be buying again as far as coffee production goes. And also I'm um, hoping to get more Jamaicans to drink coffee. Yes, so where the consumption is another thing. Um, you know, we are not big coffee drinkers as a country. Yes. But I think it is gradually changing uh, with the advent of cafes and, and people getting more aware. Uh, but you know, we, we cannot grow as, as, a, as a people thinking that coffee is, is an adult drink and yes. not for children. So right. you miss that boat as a child. So when you, really, when you turn to a big adult man and woman, you have the opportunity, which oftentimes the taste buds would have been already, um, you know, you would have... Acclimatized. Uh, to so you get the coffee at that point, but then mm -hmm. if you think about it, all kids I know drink uh, Pepsi, yes. which to me is even more dangerous, so to speak, than coffee. Than coffee. So I, let, I have two girls and I made them drink coffee from they were young. Okay. So they can start getting accustomed to the taste. So the palate is familiar. So when they reach big teenagers, they say, oh, coffee is a nice thing, I want another cup. This is where the production really takes place. This is the heartbeat of the factory. That machine is the green bean hopper. Um, where we, we do the sorting and, and blending of the various coffees that we produce from here. Comes to this machine, roast. From roasting it goes to either roasted beans or roasted and ground. Um, quality is extremely important for us as a company. And we take it very seriously. It's all about um, engaging our customers finding out what they want, what their needs are, and we try to produce a product that is, will satisfy the needs of the customer. Um, quality involves all stages, all aspects of the production, from at the farm level, right to we producing and sending out to the customer. So every step of the chain, quality is involved in it. Challenges in getting that perfect coffee. <laughs> Yes, challenges. Um, first of all, you have to ensure that you train your staff. Training is very important when quality is concerned. So you have to have specification, you have to have requirements. And you do, you set that up, and then you train your staff in ensuring that we achieve those specifications and those requirements. In terms of production costs, how is it? Because your operation is quite extensive. Yeah. What, what is production cost like? Production costs are are what they are. I mean, we have, fortunately, we have put in a, a solar system which has helped us with our electricity mm -hmm. consumption quite a bit. We have been able to cut our electricity bill nearly 70%, um, which Same is enough. probably the most significant cost reduction that we have achieved um, over the past six or seven years. Um, and, you know, we, we we have certain overheads, obviously, with a factory of this size that, that, that they can't avoid based on this size. But that's why production is important to keep us mm -hmm. uh, the volume to get the economy to scale, you know? So far, it's been a good experience. Um, I learned a lot about coffee. I didn't know much at first, but now um, I'm getting the grasp of it going from the starting stage until where um, it's sold um, like on our shelves. Why should anybody drink coffee? Why should it? Because it's good for you. It's good for you. Coffee has a lot of good health benefits, you know. You don't keep away cancer? No. Yes, man. Coffee is one of them. Good for energy. Good, good, good.
keep our cancer, keep cancer free. Um, it has a lot of um, the, the, the chemical makeup of it, it has very good um, nutrients and, and, and things that are good for your whole body makeup. So coffee is not something that we should not consume, it is good. And, and just in case you are concerned that you, if your caffeine level is too high, you can adjust it by the amount of water yes. that you right. use to, 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 to brew your coffee. Mm -hmm. So exactly. you, have that, you have that power. Yes. Right. Or you will have decaffeinated coffee too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To what extent do you drink your own coffee? To what extent do I drink it? Not all day. Always, nothing else. You see the size of Nothing else. Yeah, yeah, right. I have, I have a son and I am always buying coffee for him. Yeah. And he lives in Kingston. Okay. Yes, yeah, so nothing else but yeah, I want coffee. coffee. I don't drink anything else yeah. unless it's soup. And he doesn't drink no other coffee but this What's coffee. coffee? Yeah, well, yeah. See, mother can't yeah. work and drink it. You have to eat, <laughs> you have to eat your own food. Yeah, yes, 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 it's a great place to work, great management, mm -hmm. it's a family business and it, we are all, workers are all treated like family, we have a good interaction. Um, it's one of the few places I think that you have your boss come and interact with you every day. Every morning he comes, he goes through the factory, ensure he touches or he talks to each person and you take a very um, proactive interest in your overall well-being.